the ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Lord, certain mysteries are not narrated in thy holy gospels. Among these I would like to know if I am mistaken to suppose, to suppose that thy third fall was meant to expiate and save the souls of the prudent. Prudence is a virtue whereby we choose the adequate means for obtaining the end we have in mind. Thus, great acts of heroism can be as prudent as strategic retreats. If the goal is to win, advancing is more prudent. In 90% of the cases than retreating, it is the same within the, the evangelical virtue of prudence. Nevertheless, some understand that the prudence consists only in the art of retreating this systematic and methodical re retreat became the only attitude recognized as prudent by many of thy friends, my lord. And because of this, they retreat too much as the accomplishment of, great, of a great work for thy glory. Quite painful. Is sanctification very difficult? Does growth in virtue multiply the struggles instead of diminishing them? To avoid great catastrophes, retreat to the quagmire of mediocrity is deemed prudent. Is health endangered, abandoned out of prudence? All or almost all apost apostolate and moderate. The interior life, because life was made above all to be long living long rather than living well becomes the ideal the eulogy would no longer be that of scripture being made perfect in a short space he fulfilled a long time wisdom 4 verse 13 but on the contrary would be he had a long life for he had the wisdom to renounce occupying himself over much in the ways of apostolate and virtue. Long lives small works. A long life small works. How was thy prudence, O divine model of all virtues? How many in how many friends would have counseled thee to desist to desist when thou fell in the first time? The second time there would be legion, and seeing thee fall the third time. How many would not abandon these scandalized? They would think thee rash, lacking good sense, and believe thou to be violating God's express designs. May this step of thy passion obtain for us graces to be invincibly a constant good in good, seeing clearly the way to true heroism, which can reach its utmost and loftiest limits without ever being mistaken for a vile and presumptuous temerity. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thou, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, God, pray for us sinners, now and our Father. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as the beginning is now, and never shall be world without an Amen. Hail Mary, oh, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as the beginning is now, and shall be without an Amen. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And we'll go to the 10th station for the next on the next video.